Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence. If you're a small business doing your own SEO or an SEO agency overseeing several clients, finding the right tools is a big task because there are so many SEO tools out there. WooRank is one of the tools that I like. The team over at WooRank gave me access to a premium level account. And I'm gonna show you what you can do with it in this video. So I'm on the WooRank website right now. I'm gonna go ahead and click on pricing and show you the different levels that they offer first. Uh, I will show you the free option. You can go to WooRank.com and just do a free search on any site. I'm gonna show you that in a minute, but they do offer a pro level as the lowest plan, which is currently $49.99 a month. It includes unlimited reviews and one advanced review. So you can basically do an advanced review of your site. I'm gonna show you what an advanced review is uh, in, a in a few minutes here. Uh, you can track 50 keywords, use site crawl, and then uh, a few other things listed here. So pro would be really for one person who wants to analyze their own website. Uh, premium would be maybe for an SEO agency, maybe a web designer who's doing some SEO work for their clients. It says preferred by professionals, $149.99 a month currently. Uh, both of these have free trials available. It includes everything in pro that I just mentioned, plus you get four more advanced reviews. So you get five total. You can create and download white label PDF reports. So if you're an SEO agency and you wanna send WooRank reports with your own branding on them, you can do that with this plan. And then you get more keywords. Uh, you can crawl more pages. And then it has this new lead gen tool. And then there's priority support at this level. And then they have an enterprise plan for larger companies with larger teams. So as I mentioned, they did give me access to this premium level plan. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you. But I will show you the reviews and the advanced reviews is basically what I'll focus on. But before I log in and show you my account, let me just go to their homepage and show you how you can do any um, review for free. And actually, because I've done a few of the free reviews in the last couple days, it, I think they may have limited me on the number of free ones I can do, so I'm not seeing it here. I think sometimes you might see the option to do that right on their homepage. Um, I'm not seeing that right now, so you might see it depending on uh, when you're looking at it, but I can still show you what a free review looks like by going down to their review index, which is just, I think, a list of all the free reviews that have been done recently. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on one of these, and it's gonna show me a free review for uh, one of the sites. So before you sign up, they do allow you to do these free reviews, but obviously, as happened to me, they limit the number you can do. And then the content of the review will also be limited. So if I scroll down here, you're gonna see um, SEO section. And I'll go through this more in detail in the full review that I'm gonna show you in a minute. But there's some items here like upgrade to see the number of monthly visits from mobile users. So that's limited in the free version. Here's another thing, server uptime, you gotta upgrade. URL errors, you gotta upgrade, backlink quality. So a bunch of items here um, you need to upgrade for, but it is a pretty nice review you can get for free. So if you've never done it on your own website um, or a website you're involved with, you can go ahead and head over to their site and do a free review or do the free trial for, um, I think it's 14 days. And um, I'm not sure how many they allow you to do for the free trial. But there's definitely some value in uh, even the free version. So now I'm going to show you what you can do with a full review. So I'm now logged into the premium account that they gave me access to. And when you log in, uh, you can just type in a website to review up here at the top. And then here it's showing me the reviews I've done. So there's three full reviews that I've done. Um, and then there's one advanced review. So the way it works is you do a full review and then I can click on the star icon here to turn it into an advanced review. So let me first show you a full review and I'll use this website here as an example. So up at the top, they're giving me a score out of 100. They're showing me items that passed and how many needed to be improved and errors. Uh, there's a few options here like downloading a PDF, downloading slides, which are the same as a PDF, but they're in a 16.9 format so you can put them on slides easier. And then this navigation on the left, it's just gonna jump you to different sections on this one page. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down, show you the first section, which is SEO. So it's gonna show you some basic on-page SEO items like your title tag, you know, is the length good or bad, too long, too short, uh, meta description. 
It's going to show you a preview of your result in Google. It's going to go through your heading tags like H1, H2, and it's saying there's an error here. And it's probably because there's too many H1 tags. Yeah, there's like a ton of them on this page, H2. Showing you a keywords cloud, number of keywords, and how often they show up on the page. Keyword consistency. So a bunch of on-page items, robots.txt, XML sitemap. It's actually saying we found no blog on this site, which is not true, so it's kind of an error there. So the next section is mobile. It's saying uh, it basically measures mobile friendliness, shows you the rendering on a mobile screen, it talks about touchscreen readiness, how big or small the items are, the elements on your site. If they're too small, then it might encourage you to make them larger. Font size, uh, mobile speed. This is almost always low. If you're using WordPress and a theme, there's a good chance that some of these items are not optimized for you unless you're building a custom site. So most people are going to see this. I've hardly ever seen a site that was um, getting good results for mobile speed, either on this, uh, on WooRank, or even on other platforms that measure mobile speed. The usability section. Just showing some different settings like your favicon, your URL, load time, different languages, structured data. It shows you availabilities of other domains like yours uh, and other typos similar to your domain. Technology section shows you the technologies that are running on your site. This might be more useful for analyzing competitors just to see uh, you know, what their site is running. It's got some speed tips here. It tells me if I'm using Google Analytics or if it's set up. SSL security. In the backlink section, it gives me a backlink score. It gives me a counter on um, number of links and referring domains. I think there's more information in this section in the advanced report, which I'll show you next. It tells me social media engagement on some different networks. Um, gives me Facebook page info, Twitter account, Google Plus. Uh, mentions local directories here and which ones I maybe should add if I don't have them. And then there's traffic estimates here. And this is another big thing that's uh, expanded in the advanced report or the advanced review. So I just tried to fly through that kind of fast to give you an idea of the type of information you can get. Uh, I believe you get access to this if you do this full review, if you do a free trial. Um, or maybe you do need to sign up for the $49.99, but even just to do this one time on your site, you get a lot of good information. And then if you scroll up to the top, they give you a checklist. Oh, it looks like you have to actually use start, you have to use the advanced review to do the checklist. So they're just giving me uh, three items here that I can do that they're recommending just to make improvements to the site. And then an advanced report, it'll show me more. So what I would do to start an advanced review is just click this blue button here. It's going to ask me for some information like adding a few competitors and then it's going to compare me to the competitors, do some analysis of competitors compared to me. I can add in Google Analytics and Google Search Console access to pull more data in. I can add uh, Facebook and then I can get some subscriptions for uptime notifications and other notifications. So I'm going to stop this advanced review and go back to one that I already set up. So I'm back in the main dashboard of my WooRank account. Again, there's advanced reviews here, which I'll click on in a second. But just to show you real quick, the dashboard, there's some language settings. Looks like five languages currently. And then I can set up PDF templates, which I think would be used for um, if you're doing white labeling of uh, reports. And then next to each of these reviews, I can uh, go to the review by clicking on it. There's a keyword tool, which I'll show you, site crawl, and then download PDF, download slides, and then settings for the review. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this site, which I did an advanced review for yesterday, so it had time to kind of uh, gather some of the data. So here's that marketing checklist I mentioned. And again, they're showing me three items that they're recommending I do for my site. But if I click show more, uh, a ton more open up. And then if I expand any of these, they give me some information on why it's important and then how to actually get it done, which I think is really helpful for people who don't know about SEO, but they want to put some time into it. These are some really practical items you can use to get to work. 
So I'm not going to show you everything here because we went through a lot of it in the full review, but I'll try to highlight any of the items that are part of the advanced review. And the first thing is in most of these sections, they're going to compare me to my competitors that I put in. So you'll see here's my site and then two competitors that I uh, put in and then they're, so you just get to see them side by side. So here's one thing that's different in the advanced review. It shows a number of mobile visits just in a graph. I think this trust indicator is part of the advanced review. They give you these little uh, question marks you can click on, these icons, just to get a little bit more information, like this had a trust indicator. I wasn't sure where the data was coming from, so I clicked on it and it tells me it's provided by Web of Trust. So you can click on that and get more information about that site. Uptime is something that is part of the advanced review. So it tells me the uptime, and I've only had this site running on here since yesterday, so there's not much showing here, but it would tell you uh, how long your server's been up, when it's been down, and then you can set up notifications to let you know when your server is down, your website's down. So crawl errors is a part of the advanced review as well, and it's showing me uh, 404 errors, so pages that are being requested but are giving an error on my site, so you can go in and fix those. And you can see the backlink information is expanded with the advanced review. I can see it uh, compared to my competitors. And then it gives this backlink quality, traffic from links. Looks like the social, I think because I added Facebook, it's given me a little bit more data in graphs uh, for the Facebook page, for my Facebook page. And then there's a lot more traffic data, which is coming from Google Analytics. So you can get some of this data from Google Analytics and um, Google Search Console. That's where it's pulling this data, but it's putting it all in one place for you. And uh, a lot of the value is actually in, in a lot of this data above that you really can't get anywhere else. It's just them analyzing uh, your site from an SEO perspective. So all this data is from Google Analytics, I believe, but it gives you some nice information. And for SEO agencies who maybe don't want to give someone all the information from Google Analytics but want to present a summary report, this is creating that for you. So I'm going to show you the keyword tool which is included in any paid account but you just get more keywords with a premium account. You see I have uh, 250 here. So you put in the keywords. I put these in yesterday and it took um, maybe less than an hour for it to get data and then it'll track these keywords. So it tells me the search volume for these keywords. Uh, where I'm ranking and where my competitors are ranking. And it also shows rankings over time. So because I just put these in yesterday, it's not showing me uh, any ranking data over time. This table shows just all of the sites that are ranking currently. And then the historical graph, I imagine, is going to show me how my ranking is changing over time, which is a great way to measure the results of the work that you're doing, or maybe you're paying someone for SEO work. This is a great way to check up on the um, results you're getting and see if the results they're telling you are, um, are accurate. So that's definitely a useful tool, that keyword tool. I'm going to click on site crawl, which I haven't looked at yet, but it says it's in beta. And I think I actually did initiate it last night, so I haven't had a chance to see what uh, the results were. So it looks like this site crawl just crawls your entire site. It's going to tell me different issues I have on different pages like title tag issues. So if I look at these, it looks like the issues are missing title tags, duplicates. A lot of them are for pages I don't care about, but you definitely want to go through this report, see if there's any uh, important pages on your site that have title tag issues. Here's uh, meta description issues, H1 tag issues, and most of these are pages that have multiple H1s and then body content issues. A lot of these are blank pages. HTTP status is again going to report errors that they find. Indexing is showing me looks like non-indexable pages. So these are pages that Google's not able to index for one reason or another. You want to make sure you don't have any issues with important pages here. And some of those issues are related to uh, the canonical tag and looks like they detail some of those by page here. 
and I won't get into the details of what that is, but it has to do with having multiple pages uh, that are basically the same, and it's just a way of telling search engines which is the you know original version. So that is pretty much everything I can find in WooRank. You can be the judge after seeing it for yourself, but I'm a pretty big fan of it after looking through just for a few days. Uh, I can even see myself paying 50 bucks a month just to keep my site in there and to go through all the errors and then to track 250 key. Actually, you can track 50 keywords uh, for 50 bucks a month on that pro plan. That might be worth it for a lot of people to uh, monitor uptime and just go through your advanced review every once in a while and track keyword rankings. So let me know what you think about this product in the comments. Let me know if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. I plan on doing a lot more SEO videos on different tools uh, and I have some posted on my channel already, so go check those out on the SEO playlist and we'll see you on the next video.